Hi, welcome to Simzanix video tutorial. I want to do that planetary gear which I did already in some of the other programs. So let's try and see if it works. I can animate this by turning that shaft here, which makes all those gears rotate. And it works quite well. So let's have fun with Siemens and X. So let's bring in our first component and that would be the ring gear. And I want to fix it. I don't need three of those. I need only one. And it should be fixed at the origin. So I could do it like this. Select it and fix it. Go for apply. Then bring in carrier zero one. And I need a touch constraint between this surface and that surface. And apply. And then I have to cancel this out because for the hinge joint I will need that window. I need a hinge between that would be sort of this axis here. So the vector could be any vector which is defined by any circle edge here. So I want to go for this edge here, this one, and the center of that arc. And the second one would be this here and the point. So those arrows point in different directions. That should work. So go for create joint and don't forget to apply. Now let's test this. So go up there and try to rotate it and it works great. So I could hide the constraints and those axis systems close. Now I want to bring in three planet gears. So go for add component and I need not only one but for the moment three and I will add another three later. So let's go for OK. Go for assembly constraints and I want to move this a little bit over here and then I need more hinge constraints. So you could select a cylindrical face or just that edge here. So if I go for a cylindrical face, that's possible. I need still the point and I want to go for this point. And then I want to use this surface and that point. And those should point in the same direction. So let's reverse that and see if this works. Because sometimes I get this wrong. So create a joint. Looks good. And then I need a gear. And so if this rotates that direction, this should rotate in this direction. So it should be the opposite to this one. So and that's a ratio about two to one. So Let's go for minus 0 0.5 between this hinge and that hinge. Minus 0 0.5. Let's create that coupler. Don't forget to apply and then test. Looks good. 
so I can add the other ones as well. So go for this cylindrical face and that point. No, that didn't work. So that point should be this one here. Seems kind of odd, the marking. The vector is this one, yes, but the point, that point should be this arc here. And that doesn't work, so let's go here and go for that one. And that would be arc ellipse sphere center, and this one here. Confirm. Now it's OK. Add another vector. Let's go for this surface and that point here, that arc center, and reverse that arrow. And go for create joint. Looks good. Apply. And add another gear joint between this hinge and that hinge ratio should be again minus 0 0.5. Create that coupler and apply. Let's test this. Looks pretty good. So add the last hinge between this surface and let's try to get that point here. And this somehow doesn't work. That's sort of crazy, but let's go again for that arc ellipse center and select this one here, confirm. And the second one would be this surface. And of course, Where is it? This point here. Reverse that arrow. Create that joint. Take a look, looks good. Don't forget to apply. Go for the gear between this hinge and that hinge. And again, it's minus zero point. Point 0.5. Create that coupler and apply. And test it. So if we move this, all those gears turn in the correct direction. And let's confirm this. Hide the constraints or joints. Okay, maybe hide that ring gear and bring in the second carrier. Add component and that would be carrier 02 and I need only, of course, one. Just confirm. Let's go to the assembly constraints. Let's move this over here and add a hinge. And that would be, I want to use, yeah, I could, yeah, I want to do it with a circular edge and a point. It's sort of convenient. And let's go for this circular edge and that point here. Let's see the errors. Maybe, just maybe, go for create joint. Looks good. And apply. Let's test it. So this should rotate. Yes, it does. Great. And confirm. Now I need three more 
here of course there should be a, a gear constraint so let's go for gear and that would be let's go to the constraints bit one of those one of those three planet gears so that let's use this hinge to that hinge So I need a gear constraint between this hinge and that hinge. And again, it should be same direct. No, it's this turns in this direction. So that should be probably again 0 0.5, but is it again minus 0 0.5? Let's check it out. Let's create this one, apply it, and test it. Yeah, looks good. Let's see if it rotates. Yeah, that's OK. And confirm. Now let's bring in those I have to move that screen recorder tool over here. So let's bring in three more planet gears. Add component. Go for planet gear and let's go for three more. And confirm. And one is right there in between. So go to assembly constraints and just move it over here maybe like that now go for another hinge select now i want to go for the circular edge come on sometimes it's really hard <laughs> okay no i don't get that edge that's crazy Okay, now I got it. Okay, then go for maybe this one here. Edge point. Let's see those arrows. They should point in the same direction. see yeah then for the next one edge point point create that joint and I forgot to apply before but now it should apply both of those. And the last one, this edge, that point, and of course this edge here, and that point here as well. Create that joint, and don't forget to apply. Now I need gear joints between this hinge and those three. So go for a gear, select this hinge and that hinge, and I think it should be minus 0 0.5 again. So let's check it out. Create that coupler, apply and test. So if I move this, that rotates in the correct direction. Yes, great. So add two more between this hinge and that hinge, minus 0 0.5. Create that coupler, apply. And the last one between 
this hinge and the last hinge here again minus 0 0.5 create that joint and apply it and then test so let's see so i got one wrong oh did i no all of them move in the same direction yes great and confirm now let's hide those constraints and bring in the sun gear so go for add component and the sun gear only one of them is needed so yeah i could make a touch just to place it nope it's sort of selected so i want i want to go for okay And that's the wrong one, not the carrier. Okay, let's hide those constraints and bring in the sun gear. So go for add component. And that would be the sun gear. I need just one, that's okay. And I could place it with a touch and then I don't have to move it from somewhere, but why doesn't it select just that surface? Because it's not there, now it will work. So it should be on this surface and on this surface and apply. And cancel this out it's almost on the right place now i could of course delete this one because i don't need it it's just for positioning so i can delete that constraint and now i need another hinge so go for a hinge and that would be of course this edge and that center point and yeah this edge here i think i cannot select it or can i let's see if i can select uh, that right and the point here as well great and let's see if those arrows are correct go for create joint looks good now go for the gear and that would be between one of those hinges of those planet gears and that hinge so let's select this hinge and that hinge and again i think it should be 0 0.5 and again it should be minus 0 0.5 so let's check it out create that coupler apply it and test it Go here and let's rotate this. And that's wrong. It should rotate the other way around. Let's go for no. And go for 0 0.5. Let's see. Apply. test it this looks more like it let's go here and see if this looks okay yeah looks pretty good if you want to adjust those spacings you have to move those gears slightly around those axes but that doesn't really matter so let's confirm this let's hide those 
constraints and bring it that ring gear or bring it back make it visible where's the eye there you go show and maybe change the transparency or translucency to a more convenient value like this and let's rotate it one last time yeah looks pretty good yeah great so i hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did enjoy it or liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye